if you have stopped by because you are curious about the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette. <laughs> everyone, Why Go Warrior, aka Julie here, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. Why Go stands for when you get old. I am 53 years old, but guess what? I love and enjoy makeup, skincare, doing product reviews, beauty hauls, and unboxing videos. If you have stopped by because you're curious about the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette in Pillow Talk, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. All right, so today I am going to be doing a try on slash review slash side by side comparison with a drugstore brand that I'm going to say is dupe ish. It's not a one to one dupe per se, but I think it's pretty darn close. And the dupe ish product is the Revlon Color Stay. And this is in 505 Decadent. Charlotte Tilbury has a very expensive four pan palette. This costs $53. This guy here, I've had in my purse for years. It's the closest thing to going on pan I've ever had. And it's not very close. I don't know if you can see the divots in there. This here is the Revlon, side by side with the Charlotte Tilbury. Now you may say, those colors aren't the same. Well, they're not the same, but they are very, very similar. Three out of the four pans are very similar. All right, time to do some swatches. So... <clears throat> Here we have a shade from the Revlon and a shade from Charlotte Tilbury. They aren't exactly the same, but they are very similar. The darkest shade in the Revlon and the darkest shade in the Charlotte Tilbury in the pans don't look that similar, but they are pretty similar. You get the third kind of shimmery shades. Again, they aren't the same, but they are very similar. Now the fourth color in each is very different. So you have a pinky shade in the Charlotte Tilbury and a very light, light shimmery in the Revlon. So these kind of ixnay. But this is similar. Therefore it is dupe-ish. So I'm going to apply Charlotte Tilbury here, Revlon here, and try to make a very similar look. This is not a one-to-one. -one. However, for $53 or for $5.66 or something, I found it on uh, Rite Aid, you can get a very similar look. All right, I am going to put some music on and apply this bad boy, and I may or may not cut that out because I am the worst at applying eyeshadow and I'm sure you don't want to watch me do that but at the end I will show the result of Charlotte Tilbury versus Revlon <laughs>
look pretty similar to me. What are your thoughts? All right, I'm going to zoom in and let you determine if you think the Revlon is dupish or a dupe. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. Regardless, um, the Revlon palette is nice. Honestly, the Charlotte Tilbury is way overpriced in my opinion. The only reason I bought it is I was rewarded for doing a good job at work. I got a coupon, not a coupon, I got a gift card at Nordstrom's and I don't shop at Nordstrom's and then it clicked like oh they sell high-end makeup so I took the gift card and bought some makeup I'd never owned anything from Charlotte Tilbury um, honestly the the formula was a little powdery and it was a lot smaller than I was anticipating especially for a $53 um, price tag anyways all right Leave me your comments, thoughts, let me know. Would you consider the Revlon a dupe? Or at least dupe-ish? And do you actually own the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk? If so, what are your thoughts? All right, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so that you're notified of future videos. Thanks, everyone.